Hi again. Hey, in this video, uh, we're going to finish up this uh, Wall of Fame page. And really, the Wall of Fame page is done. What we need to do is go and make the administrative interface to this. And uh, so we go to the admin page. And you know, right now we have uh, create training group. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to do the edit ones too on this. So I guess we've got a little bit more work to do. And you know what? I'm getting really hungry for your lunch. So uh, I'm going to make this one quick. So we'll do the add one first and again we'll come here to our admin folder and we'll add no item. You know what, let's just copy this one. Add training group, we're going to copy this one. And then paste it back in here. And then change what we need to change. So we'll rename it to add wall of fame. And open this one up. Okay, so do all the editing. And then come down here. Fix that text. And here, let's see, we need to add one other field. So, you know, let's go, uh, oh, let's just do it here. We'll make another bound field down here below the editor. Let's put it below above the editor. And rather than contact, this will be the number. And on this one, I believe we call it uh, content in the database, not description. So I have to fix that down here in our, in our query. Let's change this to content. Changes to content. Don't need to change a little bit of text down here. If you go on the fame page, just changes. page. Okay, so let's look at the VB code for this page. That one's okay. This is, we're going to change this to Wall of Fame. Well, let's go check in our database. I just want to make sure. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but Let's take care of it. Make sure it's okay there. This code's all okay. This so code's okay. Then we need to change this. Let's see. Let's save this so we can get the button in here. Then we want our command view wall of fame. Click event change the name of that one button and then here we'll so we'll make this wall of fame and we can get rid of this code okay so let's save this give it a shot hopefully we haven't forgotten anything so we'll oh I'm sorry let's put an entry on the 
admin page here as well. Our admin default page. So we'll save this and then uh, give it a shot. Let's create the new Wall of Fame entry. Add a Wall of Fame entry. Get active. I've got contact in here twice. Oh, I meant to, so we'll have to change this to say number. This should be my number. And uh, let's insert this. Oops. Let's see. So I actually want to go to the Wall of Fame page and see if it inserted. That looks good. Let's go back and test some of the other things here. So I just want to say cancel, say OK, bring this back here good. Say cancel, turn to the editor good, and then. Uh, Oh, you know, we didn't add the VB code, did I? Oh, maybe I did. Didn't auto number, let's see. A wall of fame VB. Oh, yes, we did. Got the same code here. Okay, good. So, you know, I think everything's working. The one piece we need to change is up here. Just the label by the number. Let's see, we'll go and do that in design view. The contact in here twice. Um, header text should read number. And then data field is number. Good. Let's just uh, refresh this and see if it comes up. Okay, good. There's the number. And I'm going to also check on the Wall of Fame. Yes, we do print out the number. Good. We don't print out the contact. Okay, so that looks pretty good.